All right, we've got Ke Kevin in New York. How are you? Hey, how you doing? Good. How's everything? Pretty good. What you got? Um, yeah, I, I called last week. I believe we talked a little bit. Um, figure we'll give you know, some of the, the listeners what they want. <laughs> I see it. Uh, we, you know, we talked about uh, how sexual reproduction basically, you know, proves God exists. And well, proves you talked about that. Yeah, you, you said that. Right. Uh, no, I'm just saying, yeah, we were talking about it. And, uh, I mean, you didn't really give me, a, you know, a full opportunity to explain myself. Entirely. All right, you have exactly two minutes right, starting right now. All right. Go. Basically, what came first, the chicken or the egg? I mean, you can't get, you can't get the infant of any, any creature, any living thing, possibly, without, you know, sexual reproduction. Basically, you know, the chicken, what, what came first, the chicken or the egg? The egg. It, yes. The egg. The, the egg, but I gave him two minutes. So. Yeah, okay. No, I was just saying, the, you know, no, there's no proof that anything, you know, can, like, no, no baby can come from, you know, nothing. You know, there always has to be a mother. There always have to be parents, and there always has to be some kind of source where that came from. You know, there's no, there evi you know, there's no evidence proven that anything, you know, that life can just arise through natural causes never been proven. The, the, um, yeah, I know you said the Miller experiment, the Miller Urey experiment and all that, and I said, you know, that was like comparing, you know, you know, a pile of bricks and, and then that means you have a house. You know, no, no, but that's all, that's all the Miller Urey experiment, experiment proved. It said that uh, amino acids can be, uh, can be, you know, created from scratch, but amino acids... What does that have to do with sexual reproduction? Again. What what does that have to do with sexual reproduction? No, I'm just saying, you know, the the Miliuri, Well, it has to do with the fact that all every single living thing on the earth is is, is from sexual reproduction. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. What do you mean? It isn't. Have you not heard of asexual reproduction? Say again. Have you not heard of asexual reproduction? Well, it's still sexual. That's still well. No, it's no, not. No, it isn't. Yeah, but they, you don't have you not heard of parthenogenesis? Even in asexual reproduction, uh, that you... only means that one organism is the mother and the father, whereas sexual yes. reproduction is two separate organisms. Well, there's a there's <laughs> asexual. It's still, sexual, it's still, I mean, the word sexual is still in there. So, oh my, well, oh, all right. Oh, holy crap! Bye, bye, Kevin. I don't have time to waste on that. Uh, look up asexual reproduction. Look up parthenogenesis. Look up look abiogenesis, up. and not just the Miller Urey thing. Look up John Oros. Look up a number of other things, and then look up the fallacy of this has not been proven. Therefore, I can assert that it's true. Even if we had no evidence of any living thing that did not come from sexual reproduction, it does not mean that that is necessarily the case. As a matter of fact, we have a good understanding um, beginning from very early organisms through the current, pretty much exactly how it processed. Yeah. Uh, of, you know, we know about common ancestry. We know about how sexual reproduction has, has been driven by natural selection. And we know all the way back, uh, within reason, to the, within some limits, to the original uh, organisms, or we can as far back as we can identify. And we've demonstrated that the building blocks of life can come from non-living material through purely electrical chemical means. Now, once you have that, um, not only, even before we had that, your bald assertion that um, we've only found white swans, therefore there are no black swans, is demonstrably illogical. But now that we've found those building blocks, now that we've found a mechanism that's possible, and while we don't understand everything, we don't know necessarily how it happened, or even if it happened here, or if there was um, uh, panspermia or any other explanation of what exactly happened, what we know about what can happen means that you're just fractally wrong. Yeah. Well, and, and if he wants an example of parthenogenesis, um, look up New Mexico whiptailed lizards. Yeah, and, and there's been there's been several other examples uh, with uh, there's a snake. Yeah, that recently yes. they got some publicity. Recently, a snake, a, um, a, a species that normally sexually reproduces that managed to do it without it. Yeah. Wow. Um, Sharks. 
the width and breadth of what we don't know is staggering, but it's not as staggering as what you don't know, apparently. Yeah. So, 